Hello everyone, what's going on? It is M10 here. Welcome back to another Terraria tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing golfing score. Now, this is a little mechanic that you may not know about in Terraria 1.4, but when they added the golf NPC, they added a golfing score. And what that does is when you increase your golfing score, it allows you to buy different things from the golfer NPC. So as you just saw, the golf putters that I could buy were worn, they weren't very good, and there was some several items missing from the golfer NPC's inventory. So you're probably wondering, how on earth do I increase golfing scores? Now golfing scores, well, you increase your golfing scores by getting or by landing the golf ball in the golf cup from as far a distance as possible in the least amount of strokes possible, if that makes sense. So to increase your golfing score by a large amount, you're going to want to have your golf cup set as far away as possible. Meanwhile, you're going to want to try and get it in and as little strokes as possible. So if you are doing a golfing map, for example, like the Chaos Golf Map, uh, which I recently participated in with Rito Gaming. Check out that video here if you want. Anyway, if you are participating in that map, uh, it's not the best way to increase your golfing score as quickly as possible, but today I will show you how to do that. So one other thing to note is that golfing score is tied to the character. So a character with 2000 golfing score will be able to access these items on any world, whereas a character with 500 golfing score will not be able to access items on a world where a character has previously had 2,000 golfing score. So yeah, tied to the character, not the world. Anyway, I'm going to show you all how to increase your golfing score as fast as possible. As you can see, I have created a one block gap next to my elevator. Now, it is easier to do this uh, with a one block gap, but if you have, if, if you want, you can use this method directly down your elevator. As long as it's quite thin, you don't. It won't work as well with a ridiculously wide elevator. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is place a golf tee towards the top of the elevator, preferably as close as possible, but not right on top of it. Maybe like three blocks, four blocks. And you are going to want to place a golf cup at the very bottom of the elevator, directly underneath where your one block gap hole is. And this is very important that it's in the direct spot underneath, so make sure that you put it in the right spot. However, if you want to be super safe, you can place down multiple cups next to each other just to make sure that it lands in one. So to make it abundantly clear what this method is, basically you're just funneling the ball down the hole as great a distance as possible uh, into the elevator cup. So you're going to want to use a putter for this. The putter is a special type of golf club that you use for very small distances. Uh, if you don't get it the first try like I just did, I, I used way too much power, um, what you're going to want is to place the ball back onto the tee manually. You, if you use the golf whistle, it will count as another shot. So yeah, place the ball back on the tee manually and it'll count as square one again. Now, as you can see, I had some troubles just there because I had too many blocks at the start of my elevator that were open. So what I recommend is make sure that gap is one block wide uh, for a portion of the way down. Um, I made the mistake here of uh, just not, not covering it up enough and just being pretty relaxed about it. So I tried this method again and it just rattled out in a different spot. So uh, that was my bad. I wasn't very thorough about it. And I thought to myself, well, maybe it'll fall down the elevator. But as you can see, I had platforms there. And just for reference to anyone, golf balls do not fall through platforms. 
So once again, note to self and anyone, make sure the gap is one block wide for at least a decent distance so that that way the ball stops bouncing off the walls. It won't bounce off the walls all the way down the elevator. It will eventually reach a point where it travels straight, but you need to make sure that the gap is one block wide before then, otherwise it'll just bounce out of the elevator if there are any gaps. So let's give this another try. As mentioned, my elevator is not you know, one block wide all the way down. And let's see how this falls. So as you can see, it's falling in a straight line now and uh, came across another obstacle, water. There was a part of my one block elevator that wasn't cleared. There was one or two blocks that, <laughs> that I just had missed with the Shroomite digging claws and it blocked up the entire thing. So be careful about this. However, I am quite lucky in that the ball just continues down. So this still counts as a shot. So another thing to watch out for, and yeah, we're just falling further down the hole at this point, is obsidian, especially after you clear the hole, you may come across bits that are blocked off by obsidian just because water has interacted with lava. As you can see right at the very bottom there, I had a little block of obsidian that was blocking the golf ball, but eventually it fell down into the cup and I got my hole in one. After all that, very spectacular, definitely was a hole in one, but yes. So what does this mean? Well, now if I talk to the golfer NPC and take a look at his shop, there is some different items. We can see that we have regular golf clubs, we have a golf trophy, and we have the golf chest that is being sold. So these items have unlocked because I have a received a golfing score of over 500. So I have played a little bit of golf on this character from the uh, Chaos Putraria map, but most of my golf score was increased from just that single shot alone. So I definitely recommend using this method to unlock stuff quickly because the golf chests are quite, they're quite cool. And there's nothing better than flexing on other people about your golfing skills with new and improved golf club skins, am I right? As we can see here, we're going for our second shot and it is falling down the hole and everything is going smoothly this time. I haven't had to worry about water, obsidian, and it just went straight in, hole in one, no issues. So let's check out what the golfer NPC sells now. And we can conclude that he sells some new golf clubs and also a silver golf trophy. So this means my character has reached a golf score of over 1000 points and you now have unlocked the fancy golf club set. So another opportunity to flex on your fellow golf players. So the most golf score you can receive is 1 million. That's the highest possible in the game. However, I don't believe that there is anything that new that you can get from the golfer NPC after you have reached 2000 golf score. I believe that's the maximum. Anyway, we're going to try and hit that. Um, I'll just do a few more shots to see what it takes. Okay, so in total, this took six tries on a medium world. Uh, on a large world, it will take less, and on a small world, it will take more. But as you can see, we have unlocked new items from the golfer NPC. Notably, we can now unlock the trophy, the golf cart keys, and all of the premium putters, so you can absolutely flex on your noob uh, companions during your golfing games. Uh, another thing to note is the golfer sells different paintings depending on uh, what moon phase you are in. So, there you go. Just thought it's worth noting. Anyway, I now have unlocked the golf car keys and that is super important if you are in pre-hard mode because you now have this pretty fast mount. Um, it, for some reason the golf cart can jump, but what I just noticed is it can also charge into enemies and deal damage uh, Respectively 40 damage and another thing to note is that You can double jump with this thing if you have balloons equipped But it doesn't have a built-in double jump finally the world has to have Skeletron defeated before you can unlock 
the golf cart key. So you can have a score of 2000, but if Skeletron's not defeated, the golf cart keys won't be in the inventory of the golf uh, NPC. Anyway, that is how you increase your golf score in the fastest way possible and unlock all the golfer NPC items, including the golf cart keys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content coming soon. Uh, this video did take a while to make, so if you could smash like and leave a comment down below, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, just been having tr trouble with the algorithm at the moment. My videos aren't appearing in sub boxes, and the best way you can help is leaving a like and commenting down below. But yes, thank you very much. Oh, and sharing, of course. Sharing, sharing, of course, definitely helps. But yeah, like I said, subscribe and turn on that notification button, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.